Today we're talking about the MCSA, the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and today I'm really excited to be talking about the MCSA, which is the mid-level exam from Microsoft. There are many other Microsoft certifications that they offer, such as the MTA, the MCSE, the MCSD, and the MOS. The MCSA is kind of the middle tier within the Microsoft certs. And these certifications definitely would take a lot of studying and understanding of the different Microsoft systems and even Linux systems as well, and some of the other different things that Microsoft offers in their line. Let's knock out two of the biggest questions that we're gonna have first, and that is how much does the MCSA cost? Each exam within the MCSA is $165. So some of the different MCSAs actually have two, three, and even four exams within it. So that means you have to pass each exam before you are MCSA certified. So some of these exams are gonna cost $330 and some might cost $495. Where can you take the MCSA exam? You're gonna to have to go to the Pearson View website. There's a link in the description, so make sure you check that out. While you are in the description, if you guys are interested in the show notes, I will also put a link for the show notes. So everything that we're talking about here, you can go and look at a PDF of what I have put out on the screen. So we're not gonna cover everything specifically if you want more information, check out the show notes. The first certification that we're going to talk about is the MCSA BI reporting. This is for Microsoft Power BI, which is business intelligence and Excel. There are two exams for this certification. So once you pass those two exams, you are then MCSA BI reporting certified. There's the MCSA cloud platform, which shows your proficiency in cloud technologies. There are four exams associated with this. So again, once you pass all four of those, you are then MCSA cloud platform certified. The next exam is the MCSA data engineering with Azure. This certification shows your proficiency in engineering data with HD Insight and cloud services. There are two exams associated with this certification. The next certification that we're gonna talk about is the MCSA Linux on Azure. Yes, Microsoft does offer a Linux type of certification this one specifically relates to understanding and being able to manage Linux systems on Microsoft Azure cloud platform. There are two exams associated with this certification, and this one's a little bit different than the other ones because there's one exam, which is at the $165. That one is uh, implementing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solutions. And the other exam that falls under this is the LFCS, which is the Linux Foundation Certified a system administrator. That exam costs $300. So once you get those two exams out of the way, then you are my MCSA Linux on Azure certified. The next one on the list is the MCSA machine learning. This one shows your proficiency in Microsoft machine learning, Azure, and with big data with our server and our SQL services. There are two exams associated with this MCSA. The next exam is the MCSA Dynamics 365. This one's gonna show your proficiency in Microsoft Dynamics 365 technologies. There are two exams associated with this certification. Next on the list is the MCSA Microsoft Dynamics 365 for operations. That was a bit of a long one. This one again shows more proficiency in Microsoft Dynamics 365, and it goes a little bit deeper into SQL database management and things like that. There are three exams associated with this certification. Next on the list is the MCSA Office 365. This one, just like it sounds, shows your proficiency in Office 365. There are two certifications associated with this MCSA. The next on the list is the SQL 2016 BI development. This one is going to show your proficiency in SQL 2016 with an emphasis emphasis on Power BI. There's the MCSA SQL 2016 database administration cert. That one has two exams associated with it, and this one is going to show your proficiency in SQL 2016. There's the MCSA SQL 2016 database development. This one is going to show more proficiency in developing databases and managing those databases. There's the MCSA SQL Server 2012 and 2014. There are three certifications associated with that, and again, it just shows your proficiency in SQL. Then there's the MCSA Universal Windows Platform. This one's gonna get a little bit into programming and app development. And there are two exams associated with this cert. There's the MCSA Windows 10, which this one's very obvious. This one is going to show your proficiency in the Windows 10 operating system. There are two exams there with that cert. Then there's the MCSA Windows Server 2012. This one is going to show your proficiency in the actual Server 2012 operating system. So that means rolling it out, managing it, and things like that. There are three exams associated with this certification. There's the MCSA Windows Server 2016. Quite obvious there, shows your proficiency in Server 2016. 
three exams associated with this cert as well. That tops out the list of MCSA certifications. I am really tired of saying MCSA and certification in this video, so I do apologize for that, but I wanted to talk a little bit about each one and show you guys what is involved with an MCSA cert. So again, sorry for saying that so many times. And if you guys are looking for somewhere to study these certifications, these are some of the best training platforms out there that I recommend, Skillsoft, IT Pro TV, and Pluralsight. So make sure you guys check those out if you are looking to get an MCSA cert. That's all I got for you guys for today's video. We will be doing another video where we go in depth into each one of these certifications and talk more about what is offered and what you are required to know before you go out and take one of these exams. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, take it easy.